Hello, in this session, we are going to look at how we can make use of your remote exec inside the null resource block to execute something on the remote machines. Now, before we jump into understanding what is a null resource, let's uh, look at an example as to where we will need this null resource. So let's say for example, here I have my Terraform installed and here I have this config file. So basically inside this uh, main.tf, I have my uh, resource block all right so i'm launching an ec2 instance this is my connection information and i'm copying a file script one dot sh and then i am uh, setting the execute permission and then i'm executing the script so as of now i'm copying one script file and i'm executing it all right and then i have the other uh, config files the variables the terraform values provider block locals and everything so let me quickly initialize this and uh, once initialize, initialization is done, we will generate a plan which will show me that we are going to create one resource which will be the EC2 instance for us. So let's wait for the plan. So here, that's the plan one to add. And now let's apply this. So Terraform apply and I'll auto approve this to save some time. So what this will do is this will go ahead and launch one EC2 instance for me. And then the provisional block that I have defined one. So I've defined two provisional blocks. One is the file provisional block and the other is a remote exit. Now in the file provisional block, we are copying the script to the remote machine. And then in the remote exec, we are setting the execute permission. And then I am executing that script. All right. Now here it will go ahead and launch the instance and execute the script for us. Now again, let's say after some time, so maybe you know, a few after a few hours or after some day, you get a requirement that you want to execute one more script on this new server itself. So basically, whatever the instance we have launched, I want to execute one more script on that using Terraform. All right. Now, once the instance is launched, um, I cannot define. Um, so let's say you know we will define one more provisional block to uh, execute one more script. Now Terraform will not be able to do that. So Terraform executes a provisional block when it is launching a new resource for us. All right. Uh, now in this case, if I try to um, use the second script in, in the uh, existing resource block, it will not work. So let's wait for this to complete and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So just waiting for this. So here, this is all the script that is getting executed for us. So this is done. All right, so let's quickly log into that instance and I'll show you whether the script is executed or not. Now in this script, this is uh, what I have. So I'm updating the machine, I'm installing Apache, I'm creating an index.html file, I'm cop copying it to www.html and I'm starting the Apache server. So let's quickly log into the server and see whether it has done all these things for us or not. So here is the instance I have as a public IP, let me open up a new session for this. I'll quickly log into this server. And um, you know, if you go to the temp folder, so let's go to the temp folder and we should be able to see the file. Okay, so there's the index.html file, right? So you can see this is running on infra provisioned by Terraform. So basically the script is executed. Uh, we can also check the status of the uh, Apache service, the service Apache 2 status. And you can see this is running since 1 minute 35 seconds ago. Now, let's say I get one more requirement where I have to execute a second script. Okay, so now this is the second script I have, right? Now, let's say I'm updating, I'm installing Apache, I'm starting the service and I want to install Git, right? Now, uh, let's say, you know, just for the sake of the argument, I will define uh, uh, one more provisional blocks or rather two provisional blocks, which will copy the file and then uh, give the execute permission. So let's say this will be, so my script is script two and let's call this as two and uh, we'll give the execute permission and execute that script. All right, so let me save this and uh, let me generate this plan once again. 
and it will show me that it is going to update the resource all right so you can see this is refreshing all right so in this case it did not show so you can see no changes so though i have added a new provisional block so here i have two new provisional blocks my terraform is not able to see this as a new change right so basically it is ignoring it now if if that's the case then how do i execute this new script on my existing resource right so this is where your null resources comes into the picture so we can use the null resource to do something on the existing resources without launching any new resources so the null resource can be used to implement the resources standard life cycle but this will not take any further action so now this is where i can define a new resource block with the null resource and make use of the remote exec to execute the new script on the existing resource itself all right so meaning this will not create any resources on the cloud platform as the name suggests null resource will not exist or create any resources in the cloud so in this case what i can do is i can define a null resource block and i can have this provisional blocks inside the null resource all right so that way i will tell that don't create any new resource i want you to execute these new scripts on my existing instance okay so the reason for this is there's no terraform state associated with this and due to this you can update the null resource inside your terraform configuration as many times you want, as you want so terraform null resources can be used in the following scenarios uh, whenever you want to run any commands or execute scripts so whenever you have to run new commands or new scripts on the existing machines we can make use of this so you can use it with the local provisioner or with the remote provisioner you can also use this with your terraform module terraform count terraform data source and you can also use this with your output blocks all right so how do you declare this you make use of your resource block and you have to make sure that you are using the resource type as your null resource and then within that you can define your provisioner and what exactly you want to do so let me show you an example for this so now what we will be doing is instead of having this within the existing resource block itself we will be defining that in a separate resource block so let me take that from here and uh, let's delete this so let me quickly delete all this from the resource block so basically we are going to define one more resource block and we are going to call that as your null resource so that will tell terraform that uh, uh, it should not be launching any new resources and execute the commands the new script that we want execute it on the existing resources so here i will say uh, i want to define my resource block and this is going to be a null resource all right and then uh, let's call this as example null resource and then the script okay so we are defining a provisional block all right so file so i want to copy the script where do you want to copy it and then i want to do a remote exec and then the command that you want to execute and we'll also have to define the connection block all right so because you have to say where to which on which machine it has to do this so we will take this connection block and let's define that here all right so once again we are defining the null resource uh, we are giving it a local name and we are establishing the connectivity so we are giving the connection information on which machine using the pem file and your server so i'm telling use this existing server on this server connect over ssh copy this script and then execute it now what will happen is we're not launching any new resources we are just using the existing um, resource information and we are copying a new script and executing it so this is where we can make use of your null resources so let me save this and uh, let's generate the plan once again now the plan will tell you that it is going to create one resource in case i'll have to um reinitialize this so terraform in it and let's reconfigure this and let's generate a plan so the plan will tell you that uh, it is going to launch one new resource for me However, 
um, it's a null resource okay so terraform will follow the life cycle whatever the life cycle we have for the resource block it would still follow that but it will not be creating any resource for us so you can see one to add and now let's apply this and uh, you will see that now it will go ahead and execute the second script also for us so this is where we can make use of your null resources so once again null resources can be used whenever you want to uh, execute some new commands or new scripts so like you know uh, you have already launched the instance and you want to do some additional you want to take some additional actions on those new instances we can make use of your null resources for that so now we can see it is uh, executing the script for us the second script so let's wait for this to complete and uh, we will be checking that we will validate that on our instance so this is done so let's get to the server and uh, if you look at the uh, destination this is where we are uh, copying it so slash home slash ubuntu so let's go and check that so slash home slash ubuntu and there is my second script and if you look at the um, uh, second script this is what I have so I can check whether my docker is installed or not so you can see docker is installed and it also I can also check the docker status and uh, you can see this is running since 48 seconds ago and I've also installed git so I can check for the git version there's my git version so that's basically your null resources so once again null resources can be used whenever you want to Take some actions uh, without creating any new resources like you know execute some scripts or some commands on the existing instances itself we can make use of your null resources that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video